Since we are made of the elements of these exploded stars, you and I are one way the universe knows itself. Bill Nye finally breaks the silence on James Webb Telescope's new images. The award-winning science educator and mechanical engineer has gone into the depths of our cosmos to explain the latest from the JWST. These photos allow you to take a look at the universe from over 13 billion years ago. According to Bill, these images even have the potential to completely change our understanding of the universe and maybe even change our views on being alive. How is that possible? Bill breaks it down into simple terms. And it all starts with the JWST's deep field image. Breaking down the images. Bill Nye has been leading the Planetary Society as its CEO since 2010. He plays a vital role in providing vision, guiding important organizational decisions, and acting as the public face of society. In a recent discussion, Bill Nye delved into the exciting topic of the first deep field image captured by the JWST. He expressed his enthusiasm about the tremendous opportunity it provides to explore the universe in unprecedented depth. The debut deep field image from the JWST was unveiled a bit earlier than anticipated on July 11, 2022, during a speech by President Joe Biden. This remarkable image represents the highest resolution and most extensive infrared view of the universe we have ever seen. The light emitted by these distant galaxies is curved and magnified by the gravitational pull of the foreground galaxy cluster, SMAX 0723. This lensing effect creates captivating arcs of light. The image showcases SMAX 0723 as it appeared 4.6 billion years ago, while the background galaxies are even farther away, with their light traveling more than 13 billion years to reach us. It's incredible to think that this image captures only a minuscule portion of the sky, so small that it could fit behind a grain of sand on the tip of your finger when held at arm's length. Bill Nye explains that a deep field image allows us to peer into the vastness of space between visible stars, capturing distant and faint stars and galaxies. The Hubble Space Telescope gave us its own famous deep field images while orbiting close to Earth. The image we see now comes from an instrument much farther away, where space is incredibly cold. These galaxies are unbelievably far, over 13 billion light years away, from the farthest corners of the universe. The speed of light is constant, so what we observe is ancient light that has traveled for billions of years, providing a glimpse of what the early universe looked like over 13 billion years ago. He says that it's astonishing that we're able to witness it today. It blows the mind. It's not an exaggeration to say that Bill and his team have been eagerly awaiting this image for a lifetime. The mission to create the JWST began in 1996 when some of the current team members were just kids. Many of them were inspired by the remarkable images captured by the Hubble Space Telescope since the 1990s. There's no doubt that JWST's work will inspire countless young people today to pursue the exploration of our universe. It's a reason to celebrate now and always. The Planetary Society is particularly thrilled about the JWST's potential to study planets orbiting other stars, which could provide new insights into the existence of life beyond Earth. It has the power to change the world according to Bill. Bill Nye breaks down the beautiful Carina Nebula image from the JWST, captured by the Near Infrared Camera or NIR Cam aboard the James Webb Space Telescope, this nebula is located about 7,500 light-years away from Earth and is known as the Cosmic Cliffs. It's like a bustling nursery where young stars are born, some even larger than our own sun. According to Bill, if we were there in a spacesuit, we wouldn't actually see these objects as shown in the image. The picture was taken using infrared wavelengths, also known as heat. The NIR cam detects these objects in infrared, and then scientists on Earth convert the data to make it visible to our eyes. The universe is expanding, and the farther something is, and the faster it moves, the redder it appears. That's why red light is used to represent those distant objects. It's also called a redshift. On the other hand, for a blue shift, the objects closer in distance appear blue, which is the chosen color for the central object in the image. This is also known as the Doppler effect. 
In this stellar nursery, stars are being born. Just like our sun, they spin, and that's why we have spinning planets in our solar system, all orbiting around a spinning star. Bill Nye calls it truly remarkable. But have you ever wondered why everything seems to be spinning? When particles with mutual gravity come together, their unevenness often forms a disk. Eventually, at the center of that disk, a star is born, taking on a spherical shape. This stunning image showcases a place where new stars are emerging, all thanks to the intriguing forces of gravity and the natural spinning motion of celestial objects. Let's take a look at the Southern Ring Nebula, also known as the Eight Burst Nebula. It's a planetary nebula located around 2,000 light years away from us. The images we're showing you were captured by NASA's JWST, with one taken in near infrared light and the other in mid infrared light. Bill Nye has mentioned that this ring, with its fascinating name, can be observed by astronomers in the southern hemisphere of Earth. It's a rare opportunity to witness it up close. This star has gone through a supernova explosion, which is responsible for creating the elements that make up life, including you and me. Bill Nye calls it an incredible glimpse into the process of life's creation. Quoting Carl Sagan about how we are connected to the universe, because we are composed of the elements from these exploded stars. So in a way, the existence of human life is how the universe is aware of its own existence. Suffice it to say, Bill Nye is completely thrilled by this quote, but he wasn't done talking about this amazing image. In the center of the Southern Ring, there's a white dwarf, a star that has shed most of its material and collapsed under its own gravity, emitting a radiant white light. Upon closer inspection, Astronomers discovered two objects orbiting each other. Bill Nye says that it's like when you're on roller skates or ice skates, and you skate toward each other, grab arms and spin around. That's what's happening here. An intriguing celestial dance. But let's move on to Stefan's Quintet. Stefan's Quintet is a group of five galaxies located around 290 million light-years away in the constellation Pegasus. Thanks to NASA's JWST, We've been able to observe some incredible details about these galaxies, such as shock waves and tidal tails. Four of these galaxies regularly interact with each other, creating the mesmerizing spectacle we see in the image. And there's also a black hole in the mix. Bill Nye has shared some interesting insights about the black hole. He talks about its immense mass and how its gravitational pull is so strong that even light cannot escape it. However, Scientists can still study the black hole indirectly by analyzing the pattern of light that manages to reach us from the stars behind it and nearby stars. These scientists are examining a gas cloud near the black hole to determine the elements present, like iron, argon, neon, and sulfur. Bill Nye says that the ultimate dream for researchers is to not only find planets but also examine their atmospheres in great detail WASP-96b, Atmosphere Composition. And that dream has become a reality thanks to the JWST. We've gotten details about the spectrum of an exoplanet known as WASP-96b. By analyzing the composition of the planet's atmosphere, the telescope detected signs of water and haze. But how do we even spot a planet from so far away? Bill Nye breaks it down for us, saying that when a planet passes between us and its star, the star's brightness decreases. And when the planet moves to the other side of the star, the brightness increases again. This happens regularly because the planet is orbiting around the star. By closely observing this pattern, we can infer that the changes in brightness are caused by the planet's movement. This is where things get interesting, according to Bill. Scientists can study the planet's atmosphere by examining the light from the star as it passes through the planet's atmosphere. By analyzing the different wavelengths of light that make it through, they can determine what the atmosphere is composed of. They look for specific gases like water vapor, oxygen, and nitrogen. When light shines through these gases, some wavelengths are absorbed while others pass through. The JWST is incredibly sensitive allowing scientists to deduce the atmospheric composition based on these observations. Bill Nye also discusses the possibility of finding life on other planets using these methods. He explains that when scientists detect water vapor, 
It's a promising sign because water is common in our solar system. So, it's reasonable to think it could be common elsewhere, too. If similar processes occur on distant planets, the next big thing to look for is methane. Finding natural gas, like methane, could indicate the presence of living organisms because here on Earth, most of the methane is produced by living organisms, including bacteria. Bill remarks about the possibility of discovering a star with a planet that has an atmosphere containing methane. It would suggest the existence of life out there. Bill says that it would have a massive impact on our perspective. It would completely alter our feelings about being alive. We've all wondered about our origins and whether we're alone in the vast cosmos. Bill finds the possibility of another living entity out there exciting. It could be equipped with its own James Webb Space Telescope, studying us and seeking answers to the same questions. The discoveries to be made in the future will undoubtedly be mind-blowing. As Bill Nye often says, our grandparents didn't know about relativity, so it wouldn't surprise him if there's a groundbreaking revelation about dark energy or how these cosmic elements interact in the next 10 or 30 years. Such a discovery would change everything once again. Bill Nye's Career Bill Nye is a man of many talents and accomplishments. In addition to leading the world's largest independent space interest group, he is internationally recognized as a renowned science educator, TV presenter, mechanical engineer, science advocate, and author. You probably remember him best as the host of the popular PBS children's science show, Bill Nye, the Science Guy. Since then, he has continued to make appearances in various media as a passionate advocate and educator for science. George Takei, known for his role in Star Trek, has described the Planetary Society as similar to the iconic show. He believes that the organization is working towards turning the future depicted in Star Trek into a reality. When you become a member of the Planetary Society, you join a mission dedicated to advancing discoveries in our solar system, exploring the possibility of life beyond Earth, and protecting our planet from the risks of asteroid impacts. Founded by Carl Sagan and currently led by CEO Bill Nye, the Planetary Society brings together space exploration enthusiasts who are committed to taking action together. He talks about the JWST's capabilities. Bill Nye is absolutely amazed by the capabilities of the JWST. He believes that this telescope represents one of the greatest scientific achievements of our lifetime. It has brought us closer to the cosmos by capturing the first full-color image of the universe, which is the deepest and highest resolution photograph ever taken. Bill Nye shares NASA's excitement about this groundbreaking achievement. He acknowledges the immense effort that has gone into this mission, with people working on the JWST for over 25 years. The project required a significant investment of around $10 billion due to the numerous technological challenges it posed. The designers of the telescope had to overcome unprecedented obstacles, which made the mission quite expensive. The JWST is positioned far out in space at the Lagrange point, representing a remarkable feat of engineering. But what exactly is the Lagrange point? Bill Nye has a great way of explaining it. It's a special spot in space, beyond Earth and the Earth-Moon system, where the gravitational forces of the Earth, Moon, and Sun, along with the centripetal acceleration of everything orbiting the Sun, are perfectly balanced. He says it's like trying to balance a marble on top of an upside-down bowl. It just wouldn't work. But out there, in this halo orbit, things can stay in place while moving around the Sun and the Earth-Moon system. And if you look deep into space from that point, it seems like there's nothing there, just the vast, cold blackness of space. Bill has been asked why people spend so much time and resources on building and sending instruments like the JWST into space, wondering what are we searching for out there. The truth is, according to Bill, we don't have a definite answer. He believes that that's precisely why we're doing it. There's no business case for this exploration. It's us, humans, with our curiosity, looking up and out to gain a better understanding of the cosmos and our place within it. There's no money-making motive behind all this. Instead, it's about learning more about the universe and where we fit into it. We often use terms like black hole, supernova, or stardust. But without space exploration, these concepts wouldn't even be part of our vocabulary. 
So it's through these endeavors that we expand our knowledge and explore the wonders of the cosmos. He's a massive fan of the JWST. Bill Nye is amazed by the JWST. He acknowledges that its high cost was due to the need for numerous miracles during its development. But against all odds, the team behind it made it happen. The engineering involved in building this telescope is truly remarkable. Bill Nye explains that the JWST's mirrors are coated with gold, which provides the perfect surface for reflecting infrared light, just beyond the range of human vision. This type of infrared light carries information from ancient times, as the universe has expanded and stretched the waves of light. The whole concept is mind-boggling, but it allows us to gain unprecedented insights into the distant past. Bill highlights the extreme temperature differences the JWST faces in space. One side of the telescope is exposed to the scorching heat of the sun, while the other side faces the freezing darkness of space. These temperature variations are essential for its operation. Over the past few months, the telescope has been chilling in space, preparing to detect incredibly faint signals in the infrared spectrum, beyond what our eyes can perceive. Maybe one day we will finally detect that one exoplanet with methane on it. But until that day, Bill Nye and the rest of his team will be holding their breaths in anticipation.